and Zechariah said to Mary, a sword shall pierce your own soul too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass on this, the fourth Sunday of Lent, traditionally in the Church, Mothering Sunday. So here in the United Kingdom, it is actually Mother's Day. For those of you around the world, uh, you may be celebrating Mother's Day sometime in May, but in the Church, you get the extra bonus of Mothering Sunday as well. Today, we give thanks to God for Holy Mother Church and for her welcoming and comforting bosom in which we lie. She's not perfect, she has her faults, but she still is Mother too. We remember also our most blessed lady, mother of Jesus and mother of us all. And in today's gospel, we hear of Jesus giving her, not only to John, but to all of us. And then thirdly, we remember our own mothers and all those women who have influenced us and who have been precious to us in our lives. Give thanks to God for the gift of motherhood and the gift that women across the world have given to us. We have celebrated that this week uh, in International Women's Day. But now we come to worship Jesus, our Lord and Saviour, in his holy word and holy sacrifice. And together we pray, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord who is full of compassion and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and in faith. May your loving mercy come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your word. Lord, have mercy. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light to my path. Christ, have mercy. O oh, let your mercy come to me, that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth, and out on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. And a man of the house of Levi went and took as a wife a daughter of Levi. So the woman conceived and bore a son. 
and when she saw that he was a beautiful child, she hid him three months. But when she could no longer hide him, she took an ark of bulrushes for him, daubed it with asphalt and pitch, put the child in it, and laid it in the reeds by the river's bank. And his sister stood afar off to know what would be done to him. Then the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river, and her maidens walked along the riverside. And when she saw the ark among the reeds, she sent her maid to get it. And when she opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the baby wept. So she had compassion on him, and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for you? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. So the maiden went and called the child's mother. Then Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed him. And the child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. So she called his name Moses, saying, Because I drew him out of the water. This is the word of the Lord.
A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From this time on, this disciple took her into his own home. This is the Gospel of the Lord. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my mum in New Zealand for reading the Gospel today. It's wonderful to have family who are able to join with us, especially from other parts of the world. So Mum, thank you and happy Mothering Sunday. Today's Gospel is incredibly beautiful. At the most tragic hour, with Jesus nearing the end of his life here on earth, hanging on the cross in pain and in agony, he thinks of his mother, not of himself, but of his mother. For standing at the foot of the cross is Mary and John and his aunties and a few other women, including Mary Magdalene. But here Jesus has the most intimate and beautiful conversation with his mother and with the disciple whom he loved, John, our heavenly patron. In fact, when you go into churches, and sadly many of the uh, churches in the United Kingdom during the Reformation, the great rude screen where we see the cross with Mary and uh, John at the top were ripped down in a horrible act of iconoclasm. But many churches had them restored and indeed here in St John's we have that beautiful image. Here at this dark hour Jesus speaks to both of them. He says to Mary Mary, here is your son. And to John, he said, here is your mother. Jesus gives Mary over to the care of John. And John immediately takes him into his home and cares and loves her as his own. But the meaning is deeper. The church has always understood that here Jesus gave his mother through the Apostle, to the entire Church, to all of humanity, and how true that is. Her name transcends all others. There is no other woman on earth that is as great and as wonderful and as loving and as revered as Mary. Mary, the great Mother of God. The antiphon at today's sermon, or the beginning of today's Mass, sorry, was that of Zechariah. 
prophesying to her, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. He knew that in all the joys of Jesus' life and ministry, Mary was going to suffer. She was going to suffer terribly as she watched him crucified. But like the apostles, she saw the glory and the beauty of the resurrection. Today, we value and honour our own mothers. And we realise that our mothers too have been inflicted with pain caused by ourselves and others. And also, some of our mothers have inflicted pain towards us. We are only human. We are frail. But by and by, and in all cases, the bond between mother and child is that of something incredibly special. For our mothers have given us life. And we uh, have grown into who we are and we contribute to our world. I don't want to say too much more now and I want a little bit of imagery just to play uh, on your hearts and your minds. And I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who sent images of mothers and godmothers and aunties and teachers and women who have been special in their lives, including some historical figures, women who have transformed our world. And in this time, I want us to pause and give thanks for these women who have meant so much to us and to all the young women who are, uh, surround us and who will one day become mothers and grandmothers themselves. May, may we all, male and female, treat them with the love and the respect that they deserve.
So now, with the Church around the world, let us profess our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of man, of one being of the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn to God, our Heavenly Father, in prayer, in the name of Jesus, his Son, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, who has promised to hear the prayers of those who ask in faith, we thank you for the family of the Church, in Ireland and throughout the world, particularly for those who minister in our Mother Church in the Diocese of St Albans. Bless this Church of St John's and all who worship with us today. And we pray for Justin, our Archbishop, Bishop Allen, Father David, and all bishops, priests, deacons, and religious. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of the nations, we pray for your troubled world, for those nations striving for democratic government particularly Burma. Help us to remember that your light shines in the darkness and your power is greater than worldly power. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, O Lord, for this country, for Elizabeth our Queen and for Prince Philip and all the members of the royal family. We thank you for those who work for justice and peace and administer laws with integrity for the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the example of Mary, your mother, and St Joseph, and we pray for all mothers and fathers and those who nurture others in so many ways. May all homes be places of safety and happiness, and we thank you for our families and friends. Be with all teachers and pupils as they return to school. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord, we bring to you all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. We thank you for the COVID vaccination programme and all who administer it. And we pray for those still suffering with coronavirus and those who wait for other operations and treatments. We pray for all who are ill at this time. Richard Bond, Storm Evert, David Handley, Frank White, Jane Sabor, Jeff Sawyer, Joy Hurst, Pat Pryor, Val and Albert Sanders, Goran, and any others known to us. Bring them comfort and be with those who are anxious for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your loving care, O God, all who have died recently and any who have died alone and with no one to pray for them. We remember those whose anniversaries fall at this time, the victims of the Christchurch shootings, Eileen York, Mavis Clark, Audrey Rees, Jean Scott, and our own parents and loved ones. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. In a moment of silence, let us join our prayers with those of Mary and Joseph and St. Patrick as we bring to God our own thanksgivings and intentions. our prayers to those of our most blessed lady as we ask her to pray with us and for us as we greet her saying hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death amen merciful father accept these prayers for the sake of your son our savior jesus christ Amen. Our Lord Jesus is the Prince of Peace. We meet in his name and we share his peace. And the peace of the risen Lord be always with you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice, which is both yours and mine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Heavenly Father, accept these gifts that we bring before you. May your holy angel take them to your altar in heaven. Accept them with the love and the praise that we give you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. For in these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace 
and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer, and acts of service, you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast, with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join the saints and angels forever praising you and saying, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may become for us the body and blood of your dear Son. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord of all life, Help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with Mary, the great and glorious Mother of God, St. Joseph, our husband, St. John, our patron, St. Alban, patron of this diocese, and all your saints, to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus has given us the confidence to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread.
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are no, not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, as a mother feeds her children at the breast, you feed us on this sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tasted your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Please do join us for tea and coffee via Zoom. Uh, you'll see the link come up um, uh, on your screens, uh, or you can click through on the bulletin that you received on Friday. Uh, it's lovely to, to have a chat. Um, another strange Mother's Day, I must say. It's a year ago since uh, we went into lockdown. So uh, it's been the most bizarre of times. But wherever you are, I hope you have a wonderful, and a lovely mothering Sunday. The news probably this week is, is that I'd like to give you advance notice that uh, we will be welcoming you back to church on Easter Day. Um, of course we will be uh, watching uh, the guidelines from the government here in the United Kingdom and keeping an eye on uh, uh, everything, but uh, most churches will be open on Easter Sunday. This, of course, will be within the strict uh, guidance and rules um, that are set down with social distancing, uh, covering face, uh, etc. But it will be lovely to be back in church for Easter Sunday, the great feast of the church, the very reason that the church exists. Will you bow your heads as we pray for God's blessing? God, give you the grace to grow in strength and holiness, to take up your cross and to follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, 
be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank mm -hmm. you.